In this tutorial, we're going to create a death ray, so it will appear as if a ray of fire is coming out of that red eyeball that actually makes our character explode. So I'm going to start by creating a blank layer. I'm going to go to Layer, New, Solid, and I'm going to choose Black. So if it's not black, change it to black, and I'm going to click OK. I'm going to go to Effect, and I'm going to go to Simulation, and I'm going to choose CC Particle System. Now if I drag through my timeline, I can see I get this shower of fiery lines. And I'm going to change that so that it's going in one direction. So I'm going to go up to Producer, and I'll open up the Physics, and I'm going to open up the Particles. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Physics. And instead of an explosion, I'm going to choose Jet Sideways. And you'll see that it has it pointing in one direction. Now I'm going to move the target where it originates to the top of my document. So in Producer, you'll see the word Position, and there's that target, much the same way we saw with our shatter. I'll click on it, and then I'll click at the top of my document. Now my shower of fire is originating at that point. Now I'm going to add some resistance, and resistance is going to make this not go all the way to the bottom of the document. It wouldn't look too good if it was going and then cutting off because of the edge of our file here. So in resistance, I'm going to take that and I'm going to increase it until the fire starts to retract. And I'm going to have it go about, oh, maybe a little uh, more than halfway down the screen. Now I'm ready to rotate this and put it into position, and then I'm going to fine tune it. So I either hit W on the keyboard, or I can open up R for rotation, and there I can change it as well. But I'm going to use the tool. If I hit W, you'll see the rotation tool is selected. I'm going to click and drag it so it's pointing towards the right. And once I've got that, I'm going to now locate it more appropriately in time. So I'll drag back on my playback head. And right about here is where I'd like that to come out. So I'm going to move the fire layer back. Now if I was to play my timeline. Okay, a little late, so I'm going to have to move it again. And pretty close. That's something you'll just tweak to get your timing properly.